In the previous videos, we saw how to validate an input element. In this video, let's see how to validate a select control. For our select control, we need to make sure that the topic is either Angular, React or View. It should not be I am interested in. If the user interacts with the select control and leaves it I am interested in, we need to display an error message that says please choose a topic. Let's see how to do that. The first and simplest way to achieve validation is using the required attribute on the select tag. So to the select tag, add the required attribute and then create a reference to ng model. So pound sign topic is equal to ng model. Now we can make use of the ng model properties to apply a class to the select element and also display the error message. Just like before, we are going to use class binding and we bind to the is invalid class. So start with a pair of square brackets, class dot is invalid and the condition is topic dot invalid and topic dot touched. Next, display the error message. So within the form group, right after the select tag, I'm going to add a small tag. The message is going to be, please choose a topic. And to the small element, we are going to add a class of text danger and class binding to the display none class. So class dot d hyphen none is equal to topic dot valid or topic dot untouched. Now if I save this and head over to the browser, leave the topic as I am interested in and tab out, you can see that the error message is displayed. Please choose a topic. Very straightforward. But here is the caveat. This works only when the value is set to empty for the corresponding text. In other words, you can see that the option has a value of empty string and that is passed when creating the model as well, empty string. Now it might so happen that the select dropdown options are being populated from an API instead of a hard coded array. And in the API, for the default option, the value is set to default and not an empty string. So let's pass in default and the same in the HTML. Value is going to be equal to default. Now if you take a look at the browser, I select Angular and then I select I am interested in again and tab out, you can see our validation fails. So the validation works only for a value of empty string. Anything else, it fails. So what we need is custom validation for a select control. And here is what we will do. We are going to listen to the blur and change events on the select control. In the event handler, we are going to check if the value is the default value. If it is, we set an error flag to true. We use that error flag to conditionally apply classes and display the error message. So let's begin with the first step, listening to blur and change events. So on the select tag, we're going to have event binding with blur and change. So blur and change. When both these events occur, we want a method to be executed. Let's call it validate topic. To these methods, we pass in the value of the select control. So to validate topic, topic dot value. Topic dot value. Now topic is the template reference variable and we access the value property. 
Next, let's define the validate topic method to set an error flag when the value of the select control is default. So go to app.component.ts and first I'm going to create the error flag. Topic has error and initially this is going to be set to true. And now the method validate topic this accepts a parameter which is the value of the select control if value is equal to default we are going to set topic has error to true else we're going to set topic has error to false all right now that the error flag is toggled based on the value we can use this in the HTML condition to display the appropriate error message. So for the is invalid class binding, topic.invalid is going to change to topic has error. And similarly, the d hyphen none class binding will change from topic.valid to not topic has error. So if the topic field has an error and the topic field has been touched, then we apply the is invalid class on the select control. Similarly, if there is no error or the topic field has not yet been touched, we are going to apply the display none class to the error message. Finally, let's remove the required attribute. All right, let's save this and test it out. I'm gonna go back to the browser. On page load, you can see that there is no error message being displayed. If I interact with the control and blur out, the error message is displayed. Please choose a topic. If I select one of the valid options, the error message is not displayed. And if I select the default option again, the error message is displayed. So that is how you validate a select control.